Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I was lying in bed the other morning feeling particularly tired and snoozing my alarm after promising myself the night before that I wouldn't do that anymore because I enjoy my morning so much more when I have a bit more time to myself and I can start my day at a more leisurely pace. But yet there I was at quarter past six in the morning snoozing my alarm, not wanting to get out of bed. And it got me thinking about the little lies that I must tell myself as a mum on a fairly regular basis just to help me get through the day or get past a particularly frustrating moment where I just want to tear my hair out or scream the house down. So I thought I would share with you three little lies that I've realised I tell myself in the hope that you might share some of yours back with me. So little lie number one is similar to the snooze button but it's one that I used to tell myself more so when all my kids were very small, when they were newborns and when I had Dylan and Merrin very close together in age, one as a newborn and one as a toddler, I would often tell myself that I was going to catch up on my sleep when the baby was sleeping. Now this is a piece of advice that you get told a lot when you're a new mum and I used to really believe that I might actually end up doing that but it never ever happened. I think I could count on one hand the number of times I actually went back to bed and caught up on my sleep when the baby was napping. Obviously that's a lot easier when you only have one baby. Once you're mum to two, three, four, or however many children you have, it's just not going to happen. Yet I continue to tell myself that I'm going to catch up on my rest if I'm having a particularly bad night. There's always something else that I feel like I should be doing or want to get done while I've got a bit of time to myself. Also, I'm the kind of person that once I'm up, I'm up. I feel fine and I don't stop feeling tired again until later on in the evening when the kids have gone to bed and that's when my body just kind of starts to shut down and I feel really exhausted. But up until that point, I feel fine. Once I've had a coffee and something to eat, I'm raring to go and there's no way I'm going to get back into bed or lie down and have a nap. Yet, I still continue to tell myself at three o'clock in the morning when I know I'm not likely to get much more than a few hours sleep, I will lie there and think to myself, it's okay when she's napping tomorrow morning, I'll go back to bed and I'll try and get a bit of rest. It never, ever happens. Little lie number two is, I don't need to write that down, I'll remember it. It took me a long time to learn that that was not going to be the case. I was not going to remember it until the very last minute and then I would spend half an hour running around like a headless chicken trying to find £13.50 for my daughter's school trip or a, I don't know, empty plastic bottle and a stick for Aidan's school nursery project, something like that. I never remember until the very last minute. There's always so much whizzing around my brain. I just need to write things down. I need to get it out of my head and onto paper and then I won't forget it and hopefully I'll have plenty of time to sort my life out. But it took me many, many years to learn that lesson and it's a lie that I still continue to tell myself. And since I've been doing all my planning digitally on my iPad, that's made a real difference because I want to keep on top of it. I'm much more likely now to open that letter from school or the email and note it down immediately rather than telling myself, it's okay. You'll remember that's three weeks away because experience has taught me the hard way. I won't remember and I need to stop trying to convince myself that I will. And little lie number three is that I won't have wine during the week. I tell myself this every single Sunday when I'm sat there with a glass of red wine in my hand. Yet every week it turns out not to be the case. Some evenings I will be good and I'll go to bed early with a cup of tea. That doesn't happen often. I will usually have a small glass of wine at least because it's all very well lying to myself when I'm sat there on the sofa with a glass of wine that I'm not gonna have any for the next five days. But when you're sat there on the sofa without that glass in your hand, it's a lot harder to convince yourself that that's a good idea. So this is a trap I fall into on a weekly basis. So those are the three little lies that I tell myself on a fairly regular basis as a mum. I would absolutely love to hear yours. So please do comment below to let me know the top little lie that you tell yourself to get yourself through the day. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a little bit of fun, but if you did enjoy it, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.